Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Teach of Skin. Yes, we are back again with Marvel Heroes Omega. Yes, uh, we've done a few videos for Marvel Heroes Omega over the last few weeks, some live streams, some party times, but it is official. Marvel Heroes Omega is out. It is available to everybody. It's on no longer in like founder status or open beta or anything like that. It is out and live and available, and it's actually across multiple platforms now. It is actually on Xbox as well as on PlayStation, and it's been on PC for the last four years. And um, what we're going to do today is do what we've done with previous videos and do some unboxing. So, they made some major changes to the costume system, which I talked about in the previous video. And uh, in that previous video, they ended up uh, moving all the excess costumes into the Marvelous Luke boxes to make sure that they are actually all available for people who actually pay for the Marvelous Luke boxes. And I it was am essentially Ileana a decided Rasputin, change to make sure that they have themselves prepared for a future where they can maintain the, um, the financial viability of Marvel Heroes Omega. But they made another addition because of the up and coming Spider-Man movie, Spider-Man Homecoming. They have included the Spider-Man with a few skins hidden behind it that you can't get otherwise. Let's see if I can bring up the uh, news here for it. Yes, is there actually a listing here? Uh, the official launch of the PlayStation 4 version. Ha <laughs> ha! Fabulous. All right, there is a mention in the patch notes here. There we go. So Spider-Man Homecoming. This is a listing of the costumes that are actually specifically available in Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming Homemade, Hood Up, Hood Down, Spider-Man Back in Black, Spider-Gwen, Homecoming Stark Tech Suit, uh, Spider-Man Amazing Costume, Iron Man Mark 47, uh, Hollow Stark Flourish, Spider-Man Logo Flourish, and the Vulture Wings Flourish. So, these things are the rare objects that are inside That's seriously the starting to think you're bad for Team Morale, Luke Wade. Box. And I want me a goddamn Spider-Gwen. I will not play Spider-Man unless I've got Spider-Gwen. So, until we get it, we're going to buy some boxes. So, just like last time, I'm going to buy... 25 boxes. We're going to do a 25 box unboxing of. I better make sure I don't overbuy these. <laughs> Is that four? Are we there? I hate doing this, man. I hate doing it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I don't feel right. Right, so at least like, that's, that's them bought, yeah? Yeah? We bought 25 of them. Okay. I don't feel that guilty anymore. After all the trouble, so I we're going to jump in and immediately. I'm grateful to have a second chance. Of boxes. Got what? <laughs> what? Oh, my founders flourish! <laughs> nice little prize for people who actually were um, founders as well. Uh, boom. Awesome. Right, that's really nice. Right, I need to take all of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh my gosh! I can't believe I'm teaming up with the one and only Spider Man! Oh. Still in here, man. Still in here. It doesn't feel right. So, let's get these boxes open and done. Let's see what we got inside box number one. Spider-Man loot box, what have we got for us? Holy shit, the Iron Man Spider-Man costume. Okay, so Mark 47 in the first box. Happy days. Four Marvel Assassins. Ant-Man spray paint. Astral Essence. Random hero ultimate gift. What? You decided to open this box and receive a randomly selected hero ultimate upgrade token. Interesting. So you get a random hero ultimate update. So if you have all the heroes, I'm going to pick one. I'm assuming it picks one that gets actually related to what you actually have. But damn, that was not too bad. We got the Mark 47 armor on the first box. Let's see what's in number two. Ten Marvel Assassins, four Marvel Assassins, Spider-Man backpack? No more oh, of this Avengers so versus like X-Men junk. We got to stick together. Okay, okay. So unstable molecules by 10, cosmic fragments by 10. So crafting materials, but that was interesting. Um, a Spider-Man backpack, I actually want to hold on to that without actually getting rid of it. Uh, don't even care about the price and the value of it. I just think it looks kind of cool. And now we move on to box number three. Five legendary marks, 10 legendary marks, 50 legendary marks. So 65 legendary marks, four Marvel Assassins, and an Iron Man spray paint. Legendary marks? That's kind of that's enough to buy a helm of the All Father for one of your characters as a legendary item. Um, 65 legendary marks. All right. So are we on the number four. I've lost track now already, man. 
Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, homemade costume hood down, I imagine. Yes, it's the hood down version. Okay, so we've got two out of the five costumes, I think. Uh, full Marvelous Essence, a Futuristic Alloy. Relic, whoa! Is that, that is, oh, it's 10. Okay, sorry, I was wondering, I thought it was completed relic. It's 10 relic of the Gibrahim, that's grand. Combination boost, one of my favorite ones to get, so happy enough with that. Two Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, another man backpack, large character the art experience of token. It Uses item to receive a small amount of experience for Wolverine. Okay, so experience tokens is just kind of like boost us towards our top level. That's fine with me because essentially it means I have to get to level 50 with each of the characters for synergies easier. I don't know if I think I've ever got Wolverine to 50. Um, Relic of Wakanda, 50, 50 Relic of Wakanda? Right, okay, that's a big drop. Um, what else we got? Ten Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, more Wolverine EXP. Okay, that's fine. A Currency Boost and a Cosmic Fracture. That wasn't a great box, but um, yeah, I'm kind of liking the, the the blend more of the stuff that's actually inside these grids. Four Marvelous Essence, a Spider-Man backpack, Hollow Stark Flourish. So we got the uh, Hollow Stark Flourish that's actually unique to these boxes. Uh, Cosmic fra Fragment and a Combination Boost. How's my favorite Russian spot? Four Marvelous Essence, Spider-Man Backpack, Currency Boost, Relic of Atlantis, 20 of them, and 10 Cosmic Fragments. Uh, not a brilliant crit, but not horrifyingly bad either. So what we got next? Four Marvelous Essence, a Daredevil Spray Paint, Nanotech Filament, Unstable Molecules, and a Shield Supply Boost. That is the weakest crit we've had so far in this entire batch, but we're going to keep on going. Spider-Man, Back in Black. Already have this costume because they gave me the symbiote costume as a bonus with the Spider-Man Founders pack, I think. So, um, unless this is actually just a back in black and it's not the uh, enhanced symbiote style one. Uh, five legendary marks, four marvelous essence, lightweight armor plate. Uh, it's crafting materials. And more relics of the Gibrahim, 20 of them. I'm going to get full relics from a couple of these crates, man, because I'm actually like I'm looking forward to that because I've been kind of gathering those through... Gameplay, but it's nice to actually have a chance to look at this. Yes! Fucking yes! 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 That's what I wanted. Yes, we have our Spider Man Spider Gwen. Yes! Awesome. Enhanced costume, this enhanced costume for each other, unique voiceover, visual effects tailored to Spider Gwen. Do we not this have a word is how I'm going to be playing as Spider Man. I would think I'm that takes Spider priority. Spider Woman would have been fine. Um, well, Jessica, not Jessica Drew, Julia Carpenter, Spider Girl would have been fine. Arana would have been fine. But Spider Gwen, that's awesome. I'm happy with that. So, we got Spider Gwen. We got, like, so basically, out of it so far, we've actually got three of the costumes. We got, no, we got four of the costumes. We had the back and black. We got our homecoming hood down. We've got the Mark 45. We've got our Spider Gwen. The only ones we're missing is Stark Tech, Hood Up, and Amazing. So, that's what we still need to be grabbed. Four Marvelous Essence, Rocket Raccoon Flourish, Unsteeled Molecules, and a Matrix of Unbinding. Hello, my old friend! We do not need any more of you. Uh, that's awesome. That, that's our thumbnail. Boom. Got it. That's what we wanted. Yeah! So we'll move on to the next box. After this, this is all gravy now to me. So we've got, what, three, six, nine, twelve. You are too naive for this war, We've got 14 crates. So in 11 crates, we got... The, you the, the best my skin, if you think about it, because no matter what, it's going to cost about 140 essence may not for that. Cover it. So the best skin was got with uh, that much, with, with 11 crates. So 10 crates, that's the odds if you want to get if you want to be trying to get for the spider gwen. I think these were good drops so far. But we've got 14 left to go, so we're going to continue on and see what else we get in some boxes. Four Marvelous Essence, the Scarlet Witch Spray Paint, another Spider-Man backpack. I'm, actually got, I'm enjoying the fact I've got a collection of these now. Uh, shield Supply Boost. And Relic of Subterranea, another 20 of those, not too bad. <coughs> Continuing on in our grids. Four Marvelous Essence, Mechanical Components, Cosmic Fragment, Unstable Molecules, Experience Boost. I'd feel bad about this, but I don't care anymore. I got everything that I wanted. Yeah! Okay, let's see. Uh, that wasn't a brilliant crit, but the Experience Boost kind of semi make up for it. Uh, that, that'll help me level up another character. Four Marvelous Essence, Energized Particles, Ionic Particle, a large character experience token for Iron I'll Fist. Take your punches in. Probably good, because it's a character I'm never ever going to be interested in going back to play again, so happy days for me. Chest of 50 Marvelous Essence, boom! 
So 50 Marble Assassins and a box with four. It's weird that they can give you 50 Marble Assassins or 20 Marble Assassins, but now they're giving you crates of Marble Assassins inside. Oh, wait, wait. Tend to give you a Cosmic Rarity costume you already received previously. So we got 50 Marvelous Essence because we already had that costume. So that means the Back and Black costume isn't the same as the Symbiote costume that I already had. Which is mildly odd. I'm assuming it's just uh, literally in the color skin. I mean, well, the Symbiote one has animation and shit that's actually related to the um, character. But uh, yeah, Marvel 50 Marvelous Essence. No idea what costume it was I was meant to get, but that's what we got instead. Four Marvelous Essence, Rocket Raccoon, Spider-Man Logo Flourish. That's the last flourish for us to get because we got the rogue start and we got this one, so that's all the flourishes got now. So literally, we could, I think we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean slate this. If, if we can get amazing Stark Tech and hood up, we can clean slate this before we actually get to the 25. Uh, 10 legendary mark, four marvelous essence, mechanical component, experience boost, and 50 relics of Asgard. Boom! Happy days. And get on into the box. 25 marvelous essence. Four Marvelous Essence, a Spider-Man backpack, the Vulture Wings Flourish, that's the one that we were missing still. So we got the Vulture Wings Flourish as well. All right, and a Cosmic Fragment. Okay, down to the last six, seven, eight. We'll do a countdown at five. Four Marvelous Essence, Iron Man's Radiant, Nanotech the Colon, Shield Supply Boost, and another Spider-Man backpack. This one worth 100,000, okay. So they're showing them as actually being uh, yellow here, but they only well said 5,000, 10,000. I didn't know that they actually meant 100,000. I am not so worthy of such kindness. Multiple values, um, all, money is money. It doesn't really, it's not as useful in this game until you're buying like end gear stuff and upgrading things. But um, it's like, uh, four marvelous essence, energized particles, ionic particles, relic of Xandar 20, and a matrix of unbinding, which, uh, Eliana. Can we count on you? Down to six now. Four Marvelous Essence. High tech fabric. <laughs> Rounding up relics. Nice. Unlock the achievement by getting crates. Ooh. 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 That's going to piss somebody off. I'm pretty sure that's going to piss somebody way the fuck off. Um, four Marvelous Essence. Uh, high tech fabric. Relic of Wakanda 10. Uh, Matrix of Unbinding. And a she two Sea Shield supply drops. So, uh, yeah, that, uh, that put me over the amount that I needed for the relics. Um. Right, we're down to five crates. Number five. Right, bring it down. That is not interesting. Five legendary marks, 25 essence, another four essence, a minor experience boost, and two experience boosts. All useful for level up my other characters, but uh, it's, a, it's a decent, it's all right, create, I suppose, boost-wise and marvelous essence-wise. Uh, what have we got this one? Down to four. Four marvelous essence, a boost token for blade. Okay. Character I have not touched yet, but also I still need to do for his uh, yeah, hit on health game for uh, synergies. Uh, Astral Essence, Combination Boost, and a Matrix of Unbinding. Meh, meh. Not really, the only thing useful in this was the EXP token. EXP tokens are going to be interesting, especially for uh, the, the people like me that have a large roster of characters. It'll help kind of get these you guys wouldn't up have to, 60. to be Avengers if you struck Four Marvelous Essence, Futuristic Alloy, Nanotech Filament, Cosmic Fragment, and Relic of Atlantis. <laughs> This is one of the worst crates so far. Uh, three. The bright I mean, lady smiles uh, upon our meeting. It's nice to have them, but Atlantis is a relic I don't give a crap about. It doesn't, it's not no value to me that I'm actually going to want to use to get the extended relic. We've got two left. Two left. We've got three costumes and two left. This is not going to happen, folks. We're not going to get a clean sweep. We're almost a clean sweep, but we're lacking out. Do we get any more? Hey! <laughs> So Spider-Man Homecoming, the Stark Tech suit. So we have our Stark Tech suit. The only thing we're missing now is the hooded suit. Hooded and amazing. And amazing was a suit that was around before the Homecoming. It was just it was taken from the original costume and put in. So the only thing we're missing from the Homecoming additional material is the hood up. And we've got one left. We've got one left. You never know. Five legendary marks, four hey, marble assassins, lightweight armor plate, relic of Asgard 20. We got one. One last chance. One last chance to do this. I'm... Oh, man. I can't look. I can't look. I can't look. Is it open? No, it's not open. Uh, no! Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> Four Marvel's Essence, lightweight armor plate, another Spider-Man backpack, of course, for 10,000, a Hulk expansion experience token, okay, and a shield supply boost. 
So, a bit of an anti-climax in the last one, but the second last one, getting the, the homecoming suit, which is kind of nice, especially for the movie coming out soon. That wasn't too bad. So, obviously, um, we fucked the shit out of our pockets with that. Um, there's a lot of things in here for me to pull out. I need to actually double check, make sure I get all of these back again. Uh, chest, experience boost, uh, character experience tokens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I filled all of the pockets. Uh, is it what's in the misc? Oh yes, it's um, shield supply drops, character tokens. I like the random hero one, the random hero uh, update. I like that rather than actually getting individual character tokens, which was what I got whenever I bought character packs. I got ones for magic and for squirrel girl and characters that I already purchased in game. But uh, that's still pretty cool. So let's uh, let's get ourselves to a how many uh, winters the and then grab the rest out of our grids. And then we're going to take a wee kind of a gander around with Spider Gwen while I talk about the value of those crates because. That wasn't bad. Yeah, all but two costumes in 25 crates. Now, what, 25 crates is still about, what, 50 bucks? Or 60 bucks uh, of, uh, of of Gs? It's 5,000 Gs for 25 crates. So work that out to whatever your local currency actually is. But, um, yeah, that wasn't bad. So, dropping in storage, 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 storage. So we got bags that are worth five grand, ones that are worth ten grand, ones that are worth a hundred. We're just throwing everything in here. Oh, my God, I'm not running out of space in my storage. Oh, that's okay. I'm not running out of space yet. Tony, and, I don't think uh, it's fair that your pants cost more than my apartment. I think it's probably sitting in my pocket for some reason. Uh, we'll run these in here. Now, these things are going to actually start filling up a lot of space on your storage. Which is not a great thing to move down the land. We're down to two? Shit. That ain't good. Um, I'm gonna actually like need to buy storage space from this, I think. We'll see. Uh, retrieve all? Can I not retrieve that? Okay. I don't know what's wrong there. It's like in fact I got a hundred and then you know what it probably is? I literally did stack a hundred on and then there's three over the top. Yeah, where uh, relic of Wakanda. That's what the relic hunter one is to actually have enough to get a full relic. So that's what that's the first relic I'm going to get is the Wakanda one because of uh, having all this. So we will um, drop the misc in. One chest of fifty Marvel's essence. But I'll need to actually clear out some of that stuff anyway. Uh, crafting materials. Boom, boom, boom. Uh oh, we cannot fit any more in there. <laughs> that is storage full. Let's not worry about that just for the moment. So um, yeah, guys, that wasn't too bad of a collection of items. Um, I'm not upset by the um, selection of stuff that you get from those crits. You have no right the, to blame um, me for the, the fact that they're doing a specialized one Perhaps for Spider-Man Homecoming Stark out, should answer for his crimes fine. as well. I don't, have, I, don't have, I don't have a qualm with that. They're going to do this with character releases as we go along. But, um... See, so, alien like, computer know. talking to you inside me, your man, head, actually, huh? Yeah. How's so, that working out? Yeah, there is a difference between Symbiote and Ma Back in Black. Because Back in Black is black and white. Symbiote is that off kind of like shiny blue with uh, effects coming off of it. So there is a difference between the two costumes, which is fine because actually back and black makes sense. It's actually like that's dark spidey time. Um, homemade, of course, hood down, homemade hood up, and the amazing. So that's the only two that we did get out of that pack. We actually got an Iron Man as well, remember? And there's our the actual homecoming movie costume, which is fine. But obviously, this is what we're going with. Spider Gwen is the way to roll. Um, Oh, that's right, she's level one, so I, I was going to start web swinging and see if she would say anything, but no. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start playing you through. If you want to join me on stream at some point, I'll be playing Natasha. through the spider win very, very soon. Um, guys, what do you think? I, I personally think 25 crates is a lot to buy for anybody at one time, but I got what I wanted within 10. If I had wanted to buy uh, Gwen, uh, she, uh, she goes for 140 to in the Moon Dragon somewhere. shop currently. If you go down and take a look, yeah, so, well, I mean, it's level 7, 17 is going to be listed for stuff. There's a lot of new costumes in there, which I talked about during the costume update video, which came out just previously. But yeah, the Iron Spider, uh, Spider Gwen, 140 for each one of to those costumes. Me, so, yeah, Spider Gwen, enhanced costume. Getting that in my 10th crate, or 11th crate, that was cool. I'm glad with that numbers. Uh, that works out probably, what, 20 bucks of stuff for three costumes, because I think I got the 47 the hooded, unhooded, and the spider Gwen within the first 11 boxes. So if you think these guys are actually like trying to rip you off, um, 
feel free to say so in the comments underneath. This is what the drop rates were. I wasn't massively disappointed by the drop rates. They've kind of they've purpose they've taken our our thoughts on board and have made a lot of changes coming up to the main release here. And I think they might have struck a balance. But uh, obviously, a lot of people have their opinions uh, differing on that. Now, um, I had about 400, 500, Not everything 400, 500, can be solved uh, by Desmond smashing all the previous Some uh, problems boxing, require uh, thinking. unboxings I've done. Uh, that was a massive boost of uh, Marvel's Essence. And even then, I still have another 50 to open from a crate that I didn't even open yet. So that's, what, nearly a 1,000 Marvel's Essence. So about 450 to 480 Marvel's Essence just from the boxes alone. Whoa, so, that um, shield! Yeah. Yeah, thank you, you very much for watching. This has been another video Pelican. on Marvel Heroes Omega. Sitting chilling out with our girl, Spartu Gwen. Um, yeah, they, they, there's not much more anymore to say. Uh, uh, tell me what you think in the comments below or in the thread that this is posted in or share it around and make sure people know what you think about the drop rates in Marvel Heroes Omega. I've been enjoying the game so far. I'm actually happy enough uh, that I'm not going to not going to stop playing anytime soon. I'm really enjoying the gameplay, um, but I really want to see contests new. I want to see new places go. Redifferring up the maps a wee bit is great, but um, I'm at the point now where I'm just burning through the operation solo, and um, that's not a good sign. If, I, if I'm burning through the operation solo, which are like the party-based stuff, I'm really getting to the point now where I've min-maxed my characters the way I want them. Uh, speaking of which, we will be doing some character build videos very, very soon. Um, I'm taking advice on that completely from anybody who's actually out there who's played this for a long time. If you've got any so advisories or ideas for, for builds that, um, time, Spidey, that are, are worth looking for, looking out, out, out for on the console version, if you've been a PC build player for a long time, then tell me all about it because I would love to hear about it in the comments. Get your best recommendations down there as soon as possible and we'll start trying them out. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see all you do in the next Loot Crit. <laughs> Bye.